Before I get into this tutorial, um, I would like to say that this only works for the K95 RGB Platinum XT. Uh, this firmware is only for that keyboard. Um, so if you try it on any other keyboard, it might brick it even more to a point where you won't be able to use it. In the following tutorial, you'll see um, how it's all done and hopefully it'll be quite easy for you to do it. I just received the Corsair K95 RGB Platinum XT this morning and I've been playing around with it. I thought I'd add some uh, patterns and colours to it. Um, but uh, halfway through I noticed a firmware update for this keyboard so I did that and it had failed. And once it fails it bricks your keyboard so you can't use it. So I did a bit of digging around and found that um, on the Corsair user forums that uh, someone had had this exact same problem and they posted some information here when they spoke to Corsair about it and they helped him through it and he passed on that information and it helped me and I thought I'd make a video about it and help anyone else that has this problem. So in here, um, it, this is pretty much what, you, what you'll see when you go to update the firmware. Um, it will fail and you lose your keyboard. You can't use it, doesn't, doesn't register, nothing. Um, a little bit further down in the forums, he talks about how to fix it and the link to the firmware in Mediafire, which I'll also place that same link down in the description below. Um, and then in here, it follow this step-by-step uh, -step guide. Um, I didn't need to do steps two to four. Um, basically, as soon as I plugged the keyboard back in, the uh, firmware file folder opened up for me and I was able to see that firmware, the original firmware in there. I pretty much just deleted, oh, I backed it up and then put the, um, the new firmware in there um, unplugged the keyboard, plugged it back in and it all came good and actually works for me so hopefully it does the same for you, everyone else and um, should be good to go. So it's a little bit daunting especially when you plug in a new keyboard and it doesn't work um, but uh, good luck and uh, see how you go. Cheers.